Am I the asshole for calling my girlfriend a bitch for lying about an emergency to test my commitment? So my girlfriend, Andrea, and I have been together for a few months now. Everything had gone smoothly until yesterday when she pulled off a ridiculous stunt. She called Anne E late at night to say that she's seriously injured having panic attacks and that no one else is with her as her parents are out, which was true, they were out. She said that she's also got some chest pain and she thinks that she's dying and that she's in a really bad state and can hardly breathe. She was heaving while she spoke. She begged me to help her, said that she's already called 9111, but that she also wanted to let me know. And I was shocked. I took my car to rush towards her house, and it was only after reaching that I found out that she was joking about it. She met me joyfully, and said that she only wanted to see how committed I am during an emergency, as that's an essential part of a relationship or something. I lost my temper and asked her what the fuck her problem was. She said that she was just testing me and I got pissed off. I called her a fucking bitch and told her that I did not deserve to be treated like trash and made use of like that. She was crying by saying that she only wanted to check whether I am a good fit and that I overreacted. I left the house immediately and haven't talked to her since. She's been texting me, but I just ignored her. So am I the asshole on this and overreacted on her. Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law that if her service dog can't ignore children, he isn't a service dog. I have two kids, 11 and 9. My sister-in-law has a service dog who has been with her for about six months now. He is 18 months. It was my son's birthday party last weekend, which she was at, and obviously had a whole ton of young boys running riot around my house. My daughter also had two friends over, younger siblings of the boys, as well as her pets. All in all, there was nine children, three dogs and a cat causing chaos. At one point, one of our rabbits escaped and was running around too. My sister-in-law's dog couldn't cope. He was so excited and wasn't paying any attention to her. My daughter and her friends said hi to him, but otherwise left him alone. He was losing his shit the whole time and my sister-in-law had to leave. My son was a little upset, but overall didn't mind. Just asked that she could come over for a mini birthday. Yesterday was that mini birthday. It was much quieter, just the family, and the dog was still losing it. He was jumping around and she wasn't able to control him. She had a flare up which he ignored. She got quite frustrated and asked my children to leave the room. They did and he finally calmed down. They came back in and he got excited again. The kids weren't comfortable so they went to play and we had a conversation. I basically said, if she can't control him, I don't want him in my house. She replied that he's a service dog and goes everywhere with her, so I'd essentially be banning her. I said that he was a shit service dog as he'd ignored her flare-up and wouldn't listen. She then blamed my kids, saying my daughter had got him excited last time, and now he thinks that kids mean playtime. I told her that if her service dog can't ignore children while working, he's not really a service dog. She got upset and left saying she was uncomfortable with me. Later on, my husband pulled me aside and asked me to apologize because I'd hurt her feelings. I said I didn't think an apology would be worth it because I'm not sorry. I meant what I said. He told me he understood, but that it's a bitchy move to not even try to apologize. She then texted me and said that he had a situation with a child when he was in training, but she is paying out money to get him retrained. I don't know what the situation is, but I do feel bad. I think she was trying to use my kids to socialize him and it hasn't worked. I feel much worse. I haven't yet responded because I do still somewhat stand by what I said, but I also feel awful about making her feel so insecure. So I am confused. Am I the asshole here? Am I the asshole for saying that I care more about my friend than my girlfriend? My girlfriend, 22, and I met about two years ago and we have been dating for a year and two months. My female friend, 24, and I have been friends since kindergarten, all our lives. We also go to college together and are co-workers, so naturally we spend a lot of time together. This has been an ongoing issue in our relationship since my girlfriend complains about how much time I spend with my friend. We usually have classes together, work for group projects together, and also study together sometimes. We also hang out sometimes, outside work and college. Well, my girlfriend's problem is that, according to her, I spend too much time with my friend and not with her or other friends. 
I tried to talk to my girlfriend many times about this. I told her that her jealousy is unjustified and that she's putting too much thought into something that's only in her mind. For some reason, she thinks I'm cheating on her with my friend. Well, the issue escalated two days ago. My friend and I had classes, then we had to go to work. Well, when my shift was about to end, I got a text from my girlfriend asking me if I wanted to go out to eat with her. I told her that quite honestly, I was too tired. I woke up at 4 a.m. that day to study. She told me it's fine and that she could go to my apartment and we could order something. But to be honest, I know her. She would have asked me to go out since she doesn't see me tired at all, and then I would have to agree. She has done that other times. So I told her I just wanted to sleep and that we could see each other the next day. The next day I texted her good morning as I always do. She didn't reply. So I thought that she must be upset over something again. I didn't have class that morning, so I went to her house. Her mother let me in. She told me she's angry because I don't take our relationship seriously and I never make time for her, which is a lie. I understand that she doesn't work, but I do. I don't have as much free time as she does. She told me that's a lie because I always have too much time for her. Friend's name. Well, the argument escalated and she started with her usual jealous complaints about my friend. She then tried to tell me that if I would really care about her, then I'll stop being friends with her. I was upset too, because she's making such a big deal just because I was tired. And I told her that I would never stop being friends with anyone just because she doesn't like them, especially not someone who has been in my life longer than she did. She got even angrier and told me that she, as my girlfriend, should be the person I care about the most. I told her that that's not happening and that I care about many people more than I care about her, and that includes my friend. She kicked me out after that. I know that what I said wasn't the nicest. I'm well aware of that. But I feel like she started it. 